This is the last box of trees we just brought out to the farm and we're getting ready, <clears throat> excuse me, to get started digging the holes and getting the trees in the ground. <laughs> it's taking us what? Let's see. Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. It's taken us five days from the start <laughs> to get the land prepared to get the trees in the ground, which is not what I was anticipating when we got started. I didn't realize it was going to take this long, but it is what it is, and it's coming along beautifully. So we're going to get started, and I'll show you uh, how we do one tree, and then we'll go from there. Cherry lovers, we're out here this morning and we're going to plant these trees and I'm going to show you the process that I do. I'm not saying that it's the process everybody else does, but what I've read and what the nursery here wants me to do, this is what I'm going to do. They're all nice and wet yet, which is great, but right now I'm going to fill buckets up with water and then once I get the buckets full with water, first let me switch this one over, then I'm going to go over here and I'm going to cut out, I got to, just like the cherry trees, I have to put these down in. I have to put these, open them up, stick them in them buckets, let them soak, just put them in there so the roots don't dry out. And then I carry one down to each stake, dig the hole, put a little handful of black dirt in each pole, and then go, I have to go ten of them and then go to the next type apple so that they can cross pollinate each other so I might have red delicious or Fuji's then Gala's then Golden Delicious then Honeycrisp and then repeat the process so they have each row I can't put them all together because I want them to cross pollinate each other so we have good quality apples so that's what we're doing right now people this is what we're getting started doing so right now I'm going to cut them open and start putting some of them in the in the, in the water. And sometimes they don't want to be helpful. <laughs> and these are what they look like. No. They call them bare root stocks. These are Aztec Red Fujis. These are the way they look, and I didn't cut that one. <laughs> Take them apart and show you. Okay? There we go. Now, what we got is they come like this root stock. You stick them in the ground, you try to keep them above. I'll cut them suckers off because I don't want the suckers to go down in of the root, but I'm going to stick these right now in water, like this, so that they are soaking. They need good water. They haven't been in the water deep like that in a while, so I usually stick them in there like that. I'm going to shut this water off. <laughs> that ain't going to work. Okay. Anyway, that looks good. I'm going to cover this one up. That's, that's the first five. I got to use one bucket. I don't have enough buckets. <laughs> I got to. Is that other bucket broke over there? Yes. Okay. Anyways, I'm going to carry that bucket over. Run the hose over there right now. And I'm going to start keep planting them. And then I'll cut some more, put them in here. And that bucket's going to fill up with water as I go along. So I can. So stick around, folks, and you're going to get to see me plant all these trees today. Okay folks, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start digging a hole here and show you guys how I do this and how we're going to do all of them. That way there, after you see us dig this hole, you guys got an idea how we're going to plant these apple trees and you'll know how they're supposed to be. And I'll stop from time to time to show you exactly what I do and how they I've read to do. 
like I said, not an expert, but everything that I've done with my cherry trees have worked. Everything I've read with the apple trees and looked at these different nurseries, this works. So this is what I'm going to do. So just keep watching and I'll show you some more. Okay, folks, we're back. <laughs> Here's how I do it. I dig a big enough and deep enough hole. I got not a lot of roots, so I don't have to <coughs> dig real deep. We got quite sandy soil, so I don't have to dig a hole real deep. So, but I do dig a hole. <laughs> Okay, that's how the hole is. Believe it or not, that's all the hole I need. Okay, so I'm gonna go get the tree and I'm gonna come back and we're gonna show this. Okay, cherry lovers, what I'm gonna do next is the tree's in here. I've got, this is where it's grafted. So I gotta stay within about that far above the ground. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a little dirt underneath here to make sure that I have above the ground graft. I don't want to have a below the ground graft. <laughs> and then you're not going to get it. Then I'm going to take some of this dirt here, bring it over. I'm going to put a little of this good stuff, just a little bit. Pack it in there like that. And if Joyce will pour some water in here for me. Anyways, we're going to pour some water in. Half the bucket. Okay, no, good. Now, we just slowly start filling in with sand, or the, the soil you got. And because it is sandy soil, it does squeeze in around the roots. Now, that's the first tree in the ground, folks. All Joyce has to do now is pour the rest of the bucket, or I'll pour the rest of the bucket. I don't know why I'm asking her to do it, but pour it real slow. So that the water soaks in. Give it a chance to soak in. And tonight sometime, I'll come out with the hose and stand there and water each one of them again. So, and that's the way you do it, people. I'm gonna, we're going to show you another hole. I'm going to go with the second one here. I'm going to show you how it's all done. How I do it, I should say. <laughs> not real hard. You got sandy soil. It's not too bad. Could be worse got clay soil it'd make it a lot harder to dig but being that we got sandy soil it's not bad at all digging by hand and our apples and everything like sandy soil so and about a 12 inch hole is all we need depending on the root if the root looks high looks if the root down there looks kind of big for this hole, I'll open the hole up a little bit, but other than that, no. Okay, cheer lovers. I'm gonna use this stick to show you what I'm talking about. That's the graft right there, where they graft the, the, yeah, okay. This is the Zion, this is a rootstock, and they're different, but you wanna keep the rootstock above about three inches above the ground, so that it doesn't decide it wants to take sucker roots and go down off of this, off the Zion, because if you do, then it's, you're just using, <coughs> you're not using the rootstock, it's trying to root from other, and you don't want that. So if you keep it above the ground like that, you don't have to worry about it. So I'm gonna put some more topsoil in, just, to, just enough to change the, the sand up here. And that's what I do. And then if Joyce will pour the water in, I'm gonna go from there. Okay. All right. Maybe. 
start to move that stick, and then we start moving the dirt in. So I get rid of the roots. And all that dirt back in. Put that sand in there. slowly add the water. I'm going to go down to the next one and start the next one. That's number two, about 10 after 11. <laughs> 